Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about a champion that seems to be forgotten a little bit but is still incredibly powerful which is Vi in the jungle guys. If you know how to play this champion properly you can destroy the enemies and there are multiple ways to build Vi but today I want to talk about one particular build that I've seen a lot that I gave a try and is incredibly powerful which is the Trinity Force build. You can build Vi with a black cleaver and everything like that but as I said for this video I'm gonna be focused Focusing on this build. This build is mainly gonna work against squishy champions, right? Like you're, you're gonna demolish squishy champions with the Trinity Force. So you go for Trinity Force and then you go for the Death Dance. You can also go for Styrax Cage second, but Death Dance I like more, especially against the heavy AD composition because the thing with Vi is you finish off one target pretty fast, right? Like you, you're, you're, a lot of your skills are single target. You can ult a target and you'll destroy that target. And the beauty is you're gonna heal up from the Death Dance. All of the damage that you took from the enemy champions, you'll heal right back up. And that's what will make you so tanky later on in the game. So next up you go for Styrax Cage, even more tankiness. And these two items are going to be able to buy you a lot of time. Which makes the fourth item the perfect item, the Amaran Twin Guard. You can buy yourself time to stack up the Amaran Twin Guard. And then when you've stacked the Amaran Twin Guard fully, you're going to be unkillable. You're literally going to be unkillable. And then as your very last item, it's going to be a Guardian Angel. Because even though you are going to be unkillable, you're basically going to be unkillable twice with a Guardian Angel. So having having the full build like this is going to make you such a menace to deal with. You shouldn't forget that Vi has a second ability as well, which constantly gives her a shield too. So you can constantly, constantly get shields all the time. You're literally going to be unkillable. For the boots, I recommend one of these two boots, uh, not Glutinous Greaves, but like either a Mercury Threats against heavy AP or a Plated Steel Caps in a normal game, I would say. If you are against heavy AP, go for Mercury Threats and don't go for Styrax Cage, but go for Moth Marmortius instead. Instead, Only against heavy AP, which is probably like 5% of the games, you know? If you're against like an Orianna mid lane, Fizz, Jungle, Karma Support, you know, Graga top lane and then only like a Tristana ADC, then you don't really need armor. You're just gonna go full magic resist. You know what I mean? You can even swap out a guardian angel for a spirit visage, or you can swap out the Amaran Twin Guard for a spirit visage. In that case, and you're literally gonna be unkillable. For the enchantment, you want to go for stasis, uh, stasis, or stone plate enchant. Stone plate is generally gonna be the best if you wanna tank as much as you can. Stasis is gonna be good if the enemies have an annoying ability that you really wanna stasis, like a Camille ultimate, for example. For the runes, you go for conqueror. Here you go for the Precision Tree, you go for Triumph, again even more sustainability, Triumph is really really nice. Cup of Grass is very nice, if the enemy is low HP you can finish them off with the Cup of Grass. Here you want to go for Legend Tenacity, um, you don't want to have to go for QSS, so Legend Tenacity is going to be very nice, making you very tenacious, like 15% Tenacity, 20% Slow Resist is quite good. And then as the last one, I love Zombie Ward, because as a Vi, you're constantly roaming around with your Sweeper. Vi can also clear wards really, really rapidly. So going for a Zombie Ward is going to be giving you a lot of bonus AD very, very rapidly. For the spells, you go for Smite and Flash. So that is it about the build. Let's now get into the gameplay. So Vi is the secret champion that is actually un incredibly strong. She really is incredibly, incredibly powerful. And as you can see, this game, I'm against three squishy champions and then a Braum and a Camille. See, against the Camille, Eternity Force is, is okay as well. Of course, she's going to be tankier. Against the Braum, it sucks. But I'm not going to be focusing the Braum, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to try to avoid the Braum. Do want to remind you guys, by the way, if you want to... Uh, I'm doing a skin giveaway this month. If you want to... If you want to win a skin, I'm giving away four skins, okay? If you want to enter, put down a comment under the video. Also, if you're going to enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like. It really supports the channel a lot. Another thing about Vi you need to know is she has... Does she have the fastest jungle clear? I don't think there is a single champion with a faster jungle clear than Vi. I'm like 95% sure Vi has the fastest jungle clear in the game. 95% sure. If you do it like 100% efficiently, you can like, because I don't know if I'm going to do it in this game. I played this game like really long ago. If you dash through walls and stuff like that, and like, like this, you see, if you do stuff like that, you're going to be clearing your jungle really, really fast. It's like really fast. It's unbelievably fast. So as a Vi, you can power farm really well. Like right here, boom, I should go through the wall. Let's see, am I going to do it? Um, I didn't go through the wall. So that was a mistake. That probably cost me like a second of jungle clear. Uh, I could have taken the bot th these bot camps as well. 
So as a Vi, um, you need to learn how to do jungle fast. Learn how to dash through walls consistently and clear your jungle as fast as you can. Don't cancel basic attacks either with your third ability. So like you do basic attack third ability and then another basic attack. You have to learn to not cancel your basic attacks. What the hell is happening right here? I want to take this scuttle crap, so I'm just going to go on it. I don't really care that they're around me. Not too afraid. It's funny, apparently I can proc Braum stun as well on, on a jungle cap. So if the enemy Braum attacks the jungle cap, you can proc his stun as well. Which actually I didn't know. Oh! He thought he was safe. But hell nah, you can you can flash combo vice first ability if you didn't know already. It's a very, very strong combo. Very strong. Um, you can use your first ability and then flash on top of the enemy. If you didn't know, you can also flash during your ult. This is... Almost never useful, but it can be useful. You know in what way it can be useful? Let's say you're ulting someone here, okay? You are here. And there is like two more enemies over here. You can either choose to ult that enemy and just kill that enemy. Or you can ult the enemy and during your ult, you quickly flash behind the two enemies. You're gonna stun both of them and do a lot of damage to them. And you're gonna knock up that enemy. In that particular scenario, it could be useful to flash during your ult. I know it's a bit advanced, but I'm just telling you guys about it. Right here, it's worth to suicide or to kill myself for the Tristana, by the way. Because we were, sh we were pushing top lane. We got two turret plates. It's totally fine. It's totally, totally fine. I don't really like ganking a Camille, by the way. Because Camille can simply ult my ultimate. She can dodge my ultimate really easily with her ultimate. So I don't really like ganking Camille too much. Wow, I just ganked top lane and both of them just died. Which is kind of funny. Katarina's doing great ganks, by the way. I, I love how this Katarina's playing. This is exactly how a mid laner should be playing normally. <laughs> oh, I stopped him in the air. Can I kill him before he jumps away? I have ultimate very soon. I should be able to kill him. Yeah. I didn't even need my ultimate. Like, I don't even know why I was spamming my ultimate. All I had to do was spam my third ability. In case he would have tanked that da that damage, I could have just used my third ability. I love Vi's second ability, buddy. This ability is so underrated because it gives you, it gives you movement speed and the shield. It's so powerful. It's just so, so good. I screwed up. But the Katarina is here again. I love this player. He's literally here every time. I love mid laners like this. This is it makes such a difference in a game when a mid laner is constantly rotating like that. Like that, it makes it so easy to win the game. So this could also be a lesson for you mid laners out there. Rotate like that. Help your team. It really helps a lot. Like it really, really helps a lot. Because without this Katarina, we wouldn't have had half of the kills that we have had. Uh, we had this game. <laughs> It's all because of that Katarina that we were able to get so many kills in the top side of the map. And then he dies again. Yeah, the Twitch ganked them. Twitch is just such a broken champion, what can I say? You can't really avoid a Twitch gank. Yeah, and both of them died again. Bruh. After like a million ganks, they still die over and over again. It is a little bit annoying though, what can I say? They could have been playing a little bit safer. What I'm doing instead, I'm not gonna gank. I'm just gonna take the whole blue jungle. I don't have my ultimate, so there's no reason for me to gank. Ganking without Vi ultimate can be a little bit annoying, but what I'm doing instead, as you can see, I just took the whole jungle. Totally fine, of course. Like, I took the whole blue jungle. And now I'm quickly taking the Herald. Vi also takes Herald and Dragon decently fast, I would say. It's not the fastest, but decently fast. I can ult the Twitch, or I can just go on the Twitch. Yeah. Kill him and continue the Rift Herald. Very, very nice and easy. There we go. There's no reason for me to rush the Herald. I can literally just kill him and then just continue the Herald. Wait, there was a very low HP Tristana, but I didn't see where the hell she was. So I just continued pushing. There she is. I wanted to flash on her, but she didn't show up. She was not stupid. She didn't fall for the bait. Thinking that she would survive against me. Because if she came a little bit close to me, I would have just flashed on top of her with my first ability and killed her easily. Starting the dragon here is perhaps a little risky because Twitch could be coming. But I, I realize they don't have any vision here, so I wasn't really too afraid. Yeah, there he is. So I'm just gonna take it. Katarina just one shots him, by the way. Like, no mercy at all. Katarina hard counters Twitch, if you didn't know, by the way. Katarina absolutely hard counters Twitch for multiple reasons. 
Um, the obvious reason is she can just one shot Twitch, and Twitch cannot stop Katarina. He doesn't have any CC. But the, another reason why uh, Katarina is good into Twitch is because Katarina constantly dashes around. She can easily dodge Twitch's uh, ultimate basic attacks. Because when you're dashing around all the time, you're gonna dodge the basic attacks of Twitch. It's really, really, it, it's really funny how you can play Katarina while into Twitch. Katarina's here again, by the way. She's taking the spotlight from this video. This is not a Vi video. Oh, flash on him? I missed. But it's fine because I have triumph. I'm dead though, damn. I don't think she can kill him here though. Wait. You never know. Okay, she's gonna die. Yeah. I mean, maybe Tr maybe Twitch she could have killed, but Tristana as well. Nah, there's no way. Wait, did the orange just 1v1 the, uh, the Camille? I think the orange just 1v1 Camille. Wow. That's pretty nice. Quickly taking the vision. I wanted to invade their blue jungle here as well. I was thinking about invading their blue jungle because it's spawning right now. And honestly, I probably could. Let's see what the hell I'm going to do in this game instead though. I probably could invade their jungle. You need to remember, Vi has a very fast jungle clear. So do just clear it. Like, don't be waiting around for stuff. Just clear your jungle while you're waiting for it. Like, if you want to do something. I can ult him, but Braum is here. I'm not going to go on him because... Nyla can use her second ability, and then Braum can just basic attack me, and I'm never gonna win that fight. I love that Orn gave me his passive, by the way. That's really good. Ult him. Use second ability for shield and movement speed. Go on her too. Easy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Vi is actually really powerful. Now I'm gonna go to the jungle, but unfortunately it's a little bit too late. Just a little bit too late for our jungle. Damn. Okay, what the hell was he thinking? He thought it was just a Katarina right there. And then when he jumped in, it was an instant regret. That's pretty funny. He jumped in thinking it was only Katarina, but then instant regret. He saw me and Orn, and then he was like, no, I'm gonna flash away, but it was too late already. By the way, I left a small jungle camp right there. Reason that I did that is because uh, it's not gonna respawn. When the enemy shows up to the jungle, it doesn't matter when. He's not gonna have his full jungle. He's only gonna have one small jungle camp. So like you can leave a small jungle camp over there. Um, just to be annoying to the enemy jungler. It's really funny. It's very toxic, but it's really funny. Yeah, as you can see, this build really doesn't do a lot of damage to Braum. Like you can clearly see. Against tanks, against tanks you do want to go for Black Cleaver. Like it took me really long to kill him right there. You can still kill them. Because Vi has inherent uh, armor penetration in her passive, so like you can still kill the tanks. But with a Black Cleaver, you're going to be much better against like a really tanky composition. The build that I gave you in today's video is more of a squishy destroyer. Look at how fast she clears jungle though, it's ridiculous actually. Just how fast she clears the jungle. I want to remind you guys by the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you give it a like. Really, really supports the channel a lot. So if you haven't already, make sure you give it a like. I'm going to be going to the gym after recording this video. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's chest day today. So yeah, I'm going to break a new bench PR, of course. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Life is good. You know, I have something else that I was uh, like yesterday looking at. I don't know if you guys see it. Wait, let's first look at this fight, then I'll talk about it. Oh, I ulted Braum because he was under our turret. But unfortunately, I ulted him exactly when he went out of the turret range. So, like, we didn't even get the kill on Braum. But what I wanted to talk about is... Um, so, I was looking at the mirror yesterday. Like, if you look at my hair, this. Look at this. I was like, wait, am I balding? What the hell is happening? So, I looked it up on Google. And apparently, apparently, men, men get a matured hairline. I, I never knew this was something. So basically, your hairline goes up a little bit, and it's supposed to stay like that if it's matured. Of course, you can be balding. Like, there's a difference between balding and a matured hairline. Now, I'm really not sure what the hell I have. My father has a full head of hair with, with, with white hair. Um, so again, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure what the hell is happening, but my hair definitely did go up. I still really like how it looks, but if this goes any further, that's not good. 
Okay, that's not good. Now, my hair is very long, so it looks a little bit more dramatic right now. Um, I'm, really, I'm really not sure if I'm balding or not. It would be pretty funny if I was, not gonna lie. At least I'm jacked right now. So I would rock the Kratos look, you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I don't know what the hell is happening. But apparently that's the thing. I learned that yesterday, that, that men have a matured hairline. So like as a kid, your hairline is much lower than this. Like as a kid, it's gonna be like this. And then when you become a man, you know, between the ages, ages of 17 and 30, I guess, your hairline goes up a little bit. When you have a receding hairline, your hair thins as well. My hair is not thin at all. But I'm still afraid because we all know, you know, you can lie about it or not. The worst nightmare for a man is going bald. Like, you can ask any man. Literally, the worst nightmare that could ever happen is going bald. I mean, of course, it's not that bad to go bald, right? Like, after a while, you get used to it. But you basically grow up with your hair your whole life. And then when you suddenly think you go, go or, or like when you are going bald, it's a hard hit. You know what I mean? Now, I don't think it's happening to me. Um, I really don't. I think this is the matured hairline, but I suppose we'll see in a couple months. It'll be obvious. Like if in a couple months the hairline is over here, then we know what the hell is happening. Or if you see me every day with this hat, you probably know what time it is, huh? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I wouldn't hide it. I wouldn't hide it. I, I would just tell you guys about it. I mean, it's fine. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't get too sad about it. It's a natural thing to occur. You should only be sad if you're like, you know, if you look like a... I can't say all the child-friendly stuff. If you just go to the gym as a man, you'll rock any look. Let me just say that. So if you haven't already, make sure you just go to the gym. Right? Like, just may, just go to the gym, whether you're bald, you have a hair, full hair. It doesn't matter what happens. You'll feel good. Like, you'll feel good, you'll feel confident. Just go to the gym, trust me. If you're feeling bad, if you are in a situation like this right now... Um, where you're literally balding, don't feel bad about it. Just go to the gym and you'll be fine. Trust me. You'll rock any look. But yes, a little bit of an interesting story yesterday because I was looking at the mirror. I was like, hmm, 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 you know what I mean? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is this still fine? And then I, I was so scared because it, is, it definitely is higher up than normal. But then I looked up the mature mature matured hairline whatever the hell it was called so uh, all i can do is hope all i can do is hope so let's take a look at what the hell's happening look at how tanky i am oh my god this is what i mean this is what i mean sterex gauge armor on twin guard that's that's this is the golden combo this is the absolute golden combo you will like look at how tanky you are the, the big beauty of this build is when you get a kill or an assist. That is the big beauty because you're going to have the death stance which heals you up and you're going to have triumph. Triumph is very important with this build because the healing, like enemies will think they can kill you. They're all going to focus you. You're going to be able to use your shield. You're going to be healing from death stance. You're going to be healing from triumph. You're going to be healing from everything and you'll be, you'll just be so much harder to kill than you look. Like you're basically faking being squishy. While you're actually unbelievably tanky and, and just unkillable for the enemies. Yeah, right now going for the Guardian Angel. I went for Stasis this game. Because I, I like they have a Camille Ultimate. They have, you know, they have Tristana third ability. Kind of stuff I do on a Stasis rather than use my Stone Plate. Yeah, I'm just split pushing. There's always this thing that happens, like, before 16 minutes, I don't really like pushing down mid with Baron. I always like to split push, because 16 minutes into the game, you're not gonna end the game anyways, like, unless you kill all of them, but it's just too risky for the reward. More often than not, than not you're just gonna end up dying in their base without being able to end, and the enemies will take dragon and stuff, it's just not good. So as you can see, I'm just playing it a bit safe here, I'm just taking the dragon, because this is the third dragon, and this is just gonna be much better for us, because now, now we basically won the game. We basically already won the game, because we took the third dragon, there's no way we lose, we'll lose this game anymore, right? There's just no way. Yeah, now we're just so strong. I mean, look at how strong we are. I'm not even helping them, they're just doing everything by, their, by themselves. And now, we could possibly end the game. We just take the top lane turret, and we can try to look to end, because now there's no more shield. There we go, you see? 
stasis? I killed her. And I survived. I killed her in her base. Did you see that? Oof. So let's take a look at how much damage I did and everything like that. Let's see. I was still diamond here. This is like two and a half weeks ago, by the way. Wow, Katarina actually did a lot of damage. How much did I tank, though? Wow, Orn tanked a lot more than me, actually. What the hell? But it's fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.